Oh, listen, listen. You know, up here we got the No Fraud Club. Well, 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 fraud up here, right? Every time I say PSP Philly support for that, I say shout out South Philly, North oh, Philly, yeah. West Philly. Now, hold up. I always tell them. Shout out East Philly, that's Frankfurt. I always say, don't forget about Frankfurt, y'all. Right, so you can hold me to that. So if anybody in the city starts saying that shit, you fraud it. You know you heard it first. But that's what we do up at UERadioLive.com, official U Radio, official takeover. Yeah. Back to you, man. What's good, though, man? Yeah, man, I'm chilling, man. Just living life, like making music, having fun with it, right? It so, it's about, so how you get the name, man? Uh, it, it, it came from a, a friend of mine that he actually passed away. His name was Will. He, he, uh, he called me Cousin Love because. In Frankfurt, everybody's re like related or close, or like brothers and sisters. So like, I mean, I was I was the friend that wasn't the brother. So I was I, the next thing closest to. Get, I mean, that's not your brother and your sister, it's your cousin. So exactly, that's how they came up with cousin Mel. So shout out to El Will, rest in peace, big homie. How long how long you been rapping, man? Oh uh, man, it goes back to second grade, man. But let's get this correct. You're in the 12th grade right now? I just graduated. You just graduated. Just so graduated. You, so you, you got plans. I heard you got a crazy GPA, too. You were going to go to yeah, college, yeah, all that. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm going to Bloomsbury University in January, man. That's, yeah, man. That's definitely what's up. Another brother yeah. doing his thing, man. Get no, hold on. Now, we got to stop the music for this, man, because what's a real ish. Everybody want to be a rapper. My man got his education. He getting his education right. right. I mean, that's official too, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I mean? Got to be book and street smart out here. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Shout out to everybody who just signed up for Everest this weekend too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? During the Mars commercials. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I've been thinking. That's definitely what's up, though. Man, like, so, like you said, you, you, you've been doing it for some time now. Let me ask you, like, in three words, describe your rap style. Original. Young and funny. And now, when you say original, it's it's you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not that. It's, it's none of that. Like we were talking earlier about Rick Ross taking on, you know, allegedly taking on a lifestyle of someone else. Yeah, we you know what I mean? Like, name, though, yeah, you know, but but this is all you. you this know is what all mean? like it's all me. It gives you like my music is. I can give you the life of an 18 year old that that lives like a. I mean, a grown man sometimes. Like I. I I go through a lot of stuff, so right. of course, like all oh, this is original, like okay. straight from me. That's definitely what's up, man. Yeah. That's definitely what's up. So, who are some of your uh, your, your influences? Oh, I got uh, I, the biggest Philly since Philly support Philly. Not, not even so much Philly. I mean, it can be Philly. You know yeah, what I'm well, saying? It, but yeah, but also, Philly. you know, I mean, anywhere from we, we, we're we worldwide right now. Yeah, I would I would have to say um Young Chris. He like he, he played the big influence on me, and like 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 Elliot Ness and all of them. Okay, the scene like because. I love Philly to death, so when I see something good for Philly, I mean, that just makes me want to go out and if not do it, and do it better. Right. So, like, so you, I, name, you name Young Chris right off the bat. Yeah. You think Hope took some of his style? Ah, uh, we, we be here all night. We talk about uh, that. Well, I mean, that's like, let I mean, the people know. How you feel yo, about that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we just, talk about yo, everything with Steve Wilson. Yeah, yeah. like, and, and, and you can curse. You can say whatever you want. You can say the and the No, we're not trying to mess up the Bloomsburg, you know, that whole thing. No, no. You just curse intelligently, you know what I mean? Like, I did. No, but yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he took some of that. I ain't even, you got to get into that, man. He, he took all that from me. Right, right, right. So, um, say, say, say the day of tomorrow, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You, you meet Ovi. Uh huh. And, um, he want to sign you. Uh huh. But he tells you basically, look, you got to give me some of your swag. You got to give me all that stuff. Man, you going to hit the dead one. Yeah, I mean, like, because, because, a lot of cats wouldn't take it, but would you? Mm, and he tried nah. to, he tried to give you that little stinking twinkie that he was trying to get everybody else. You know what I mean? He was trying nah, to get everybody because else. because if you look at what he did with everybody else, look where they is. Right. So why would I continue to go down that path? I gotta, nah, oh, I'll catch you at the top. One of them doing. Right. So you said you're 18 years old. Yeah. Right. Let me ask you. Nowadays, there's a lot of cats on these DVDs, on the blogs, all that stuff. You know what I mean? Snapping, popping, you know what I mean? Twisting and rocking, all that little bullshit. What separates you from the average DVD rapper, the average 18 year old MC? I don't, I don't consider myself as an average 18 year old. I consider myself as an artist. You don't have to be any of to be an artist. Like, right. I won't, 